API has just three letters. By now, we are all familiar with this term that stands for Application Programming Interface, which is a set of definitions and protocols for building and integrating application software. APIs let your product or service communicate with other products and services without having to know how they are implemented. Let's understand first who are the three participants of API economy. First, API provider. API provider chooses which business data assets to make available as an API and is responsible for driving a success of the API. The next, API consumer or sometimes you call it developer. The developer who uses an API under design terms and conditions provided by API provider. And the next, end user or customer. The end user doesn't directly see the API but benefits from its use in the app that's provided. As a owner or provider of an API, you develop some code and deploy it to the server. That server might have a bunch of HTTP or HTTPS endpoints that do something useful. Maybe like retrieving data about all current discounts or in the voucher information from different markets in your city. And other developers want to use this data, but they don't want to implement the same solution on their own. So they reach out to you for permission to make a request to your server. Using APIs is an ideal way to monetize your services. An API lets you reach the customers through the multiple channels and allows third-party application or developers to consume your data. API monetization is a way that businesses can use APIs to convert usage of the data into money. When it comes to making money from your APIs, there are multiple ways. Most often you think about how to get, a, get started with the right tools and how to set up billing for your APIs. This video gives you an idea of building a technology stack with an API management and a payment provider that can help you run quickly and securely your API monetization system, which simply provides the flexibility for your customers. There is a effortless way to monetize your API that consists of two components, an API management service and a billing provider. To get started, identify your API monetization model as a first step. Next, manage your APIs with a, an API gateway and, that, and set throttling limits and quotas to your APIs and then choose a pro, proper pro payment provider to deal with the processing payment transactions, issuing invoices and managing them. There are several pricing approaches you can take for monetization. When you are developing API monetization strategies, you should always consider that you deliver high quality consistent value to your API users. As the API provider, you talk to your current API users to identify problems your service is solving and offer pricing models according to the target customer. For example, if customers use one specific feature of your API more than others, you could spin that feature off into its own product with its own pricing plan. Some API building models for amortization include Freemium, Pay As You Go, Subscription, Pay Per Transaction, Revenue Share, Pay For Ad Free Content, and many more. Let's take a look closely at the very well known metric building or Pay As You Go, Charge Type, or sometimes we call it the Usage Based Payment Model. With a metric building model, API consumers can make as many calls as they want per month and you only charge the consumer a fee for each API call they make. If the consumer makes 7000 API calls at 1 cent per call, then the bill at the end of the month would be $70. Calculating bills for pay as you go subscription users might be a little bit challenging since we need to have a custom code in your API service that not only tracks API usage but it should be also capable of applying rate limiting policies to the APIs depending on the users accessing your APIs. And in this case, we might need to consider a suitable API monetization stack with existing solutions to build a solid foundation for your API monetization. That reduces the time and investment required to build your own service to measure API usage. 
we can choose a combination of two elements for our API monetization stack that most modern businesses are using nowadays. API management like API Gateway and Building Provider. Let's break down each component and understand the role of each an API monetization. API management service itself offers two helpful features such as API Gateway and API Analytics. API Analytics feature can be used for tracking API usage and it has more use cases because the analytics is able to collect API consumption metrics around every API call made by each of your API consumers. This usage data can be used to bill each consumer and send the invoice to collect monthly payments. For example, Apache API 6 can also integrate with a variety of absorbability platforms like Prometheus, Open Telemetry, Apache, Skywalking, etc. by using its connector plugins for further analyze API performance and gain complete visibility. Uh, next, uh, API Gateway can help with the challenges that you meet with implementing cross-cutting concerns for APIs. As an API Gateway, access a central proxy to route all incoming requests from your clients to intended destinations uh, such as backend services. It can make securing and managing your APIs much easier. Most gateways support a wide variety of authorization and authentication protocols to control API access and also a caching mechanism for API responses or support for rate limiting and exposing quotas with API usage details. There are many open source projects available like Apache API 6 or alternative enterprise SaaS solutions such as Azure API Management, API 7 Cloud. Uh, you can investigate the pros and cons of each uh, to choose the most suitable one for your needs. Resources cost money. Let's have a look how to apply rate limiting policies. We can protect an API by adding a rate limit policy with uh, Apache API 6 as, as it is a basic step towards the API monetization. Apache API 6 allows you to set the throttling limits per each API consumer and the quotas to your APIs and it allows you to control third party usage of your API by ensuring you are able to monetize your APIs. API 6 uses it is a limit count or rate limiting plugin. API rate limiting plugin can prevent an API not only from being overwhelmed or from possible malicious attacks, but also it can enforce a limit on the number of data clients can consume. Later, you can charge API consumers by the quantity of data used, let's say number of requests. Uh, with the help of API 6 rate limiting plugin, you can also configure the different rate limits for authenticated and unauthenticated requests. It also defines a limit quarter in the response header to track the maximum number of requests you are permitted to make or the number of requests remaining in the current rate limit window. And re please refer to the documentation to understand the consumer concept and learn the different ways to set up rate limiting with Apache API 6. Next, for our API monetization stack, you need to third party recurring billing solutions such as Stripe, Recurly, uh, or Hypercurrent, and many more. But again, we don't uh, recommend any particular payment service in this uh, video and leave the choice of which payment provider to use up to you. The billing provider obviously needs to receive a user charge for each customer, issue an invoice and support multiple billing models or currencies and payment methods. Here is a list of key factors you need to consider while you are choosing billing provider. And the next can be uh, how to API management and building pro platform work together. To make these two API monetization components work well together, you need to integrate API management and building software. For instance, Apache API 6 tracks API usage in real time, saves consumption details, and exposes a dedicated endpoint with a, an API usage report. On the other hand, the billing provider enables you to send a monthly invoice to each of your car consumers' API usage. You will also want to be aware of what it takes to integrate the billing provider with your current solution by considering the fact that different providers have a different ways to integrate mainly through API communication. 
We will describe the integration process with Apache API 6 uh, with step-by-step -step tutorial in our next video series. Thank you for watching.